Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and I'm an intern. I'll be doing the takeover uh, for today on Snapchat. What we're doing today is really going through uh, what my daily routine is of working as an intern in Dublin. Um, so I hope you enjoy and I hope you follow me on my little day trip. So I like to walk to work, it takes me about half an hour, which isn't that bad really. Um, and on a day like this, as you can see it's beautiful, uh, it's lovely to see all the sights and the beautiful aspects of Dublin. Uh, it's also very good for your fitness as well because I've been walking to work uh, every day mostly uh, for the past uh, seven weeks or so. Um, of course today is a beautiful day but we do have quite a lot of time in Dublin they say you can witness all four seasons of the weather in one day so one day so it could start off like this and then it can start hailing it down snow uh, it has been blowing sideways the wind has blown sideways already uh, we've had quite a lot of storms as well so we had storm Kira and storm Dennis the past few weeks so uh, normally I don't really know what to wear on the way to work, it depends. Um, do I just have to wear coats or raincoats? It's nice to have a raincoat with you and under because you don't really know what to expect. So now I'm at work, uh, one of the top things we have to do is really open up the museum. Um, so as you can see behind me, um, we are not open yet for the next um, five or so minutes. Um, we've already done upstairs, I'll quickly show you um, after this um, what kind of things we need to do before we set up the museum. Uh, one of the things that I need to do now is uh, put out the banners to let everyone know that we're open. Uh, so these are our new banners and these are what I'll be putting outside just to make sure that everyone knows that we're open and that everything's good. So on the ground floor, um, when it comes to opening up, there's just a few things we need to do first. Most of them basically evolve um, switching on um, interactives, TVs, things that all make noise really. So first thing we do is in the first room, this exhibition is on the uh, Georgian Dublin or the Golden Age of Dublin. We should make sure that the um, iPad is on working, the Bluetooth is switched on, so it's pretty much straightforward. And just make sure that Brendan Behan uh, video is on as well. The music gets caught up um, in your head quite a lot. You end up, we end up singing a lot of the um, songs in there. So within the museum itself, we um, do guided tours of 100 years of Dublin history. So the room that I'm in right now is the first room that we um, do our tours in. Um, the first thing that we do is to um, make sure that the heating's on, that the lights are on. We also have a candle, which is just underneath the fireplace there. We make sure that's lit, up, uh, lit on. Uh, we also have suites, uh, which um, the tour guides themselves use to ask questions to the public and if they get them correct, they get a suite. So we have our own little licorice pot here. So we need to make sure that that's then filled up and if there isn't any uh, left, we would just normally um, go to the shops and get some more candles and more sweets and everything. So in this room itself is the first guided tour room. In the second room itself, it's not much different. We just need to make sure the lights are on. The heating's on. It gets quite warm in these rooms, so uh, we often switch them off as well, depending on how many people are in the tour. It's really just to make sure that um, everything looks presentable, um, that the, uh, there's nothing on the floor, floor. Make sure that all the cushions are plumped up, um, that it looks presentable for, um, for the visitors, really. Every tour, we make sure that once they've moved into the next room, that, the next, uh, that this room itself is tidy. So that's really all you need to do for this room. So I'm just on my lunch break at the moment. Um, the museum itself is situated literally right next to Stevens Green, which is a massive park. Um, so the place to eat, you have uh, Grafton Street, Dawson Street, um, very popular places, um, loads of tourist attractions, loads of places to eat, cafes, restaurants. I normally get my food though from um, Stevens Green's shopping centre, because um, it's got a massive variety of food and it's absolutely brilliant. So um, it's only a five minute walk from work, so I'm on my way back now. 
So one of my favourite roles working as an intern is actually working on the floor because I get to spend a lot of time with visitors one-on-one uh, and get to find out what they love about the museum, what they want to change about it, what their favourite artefacts are and so on and so forth. So I'm currently right on the ground floor. Um, my job really here is to greet members of the public, tell them about the museum, ask, answer any questions they might have. Uh, and me and my uh, intern friend, Murray. <laughs> uh, we're currently in charge of the cloakroom, so we have uh, bags and coats which are kept in our little cupboard under the stairs, like Harry Potter. <laughs> so yeah, this is what we do on the ground floor. So like I mentioned before, on the second floor is where our tours take place. So uh, first tour starts in this room and then moves on to this room. Whoever is um, positioned here, their role really is to make sure that visitors are coming up the stairs. I know the tour is all starting in here. We have a little clock here which tells you uh, what time each tour is going to start. So really it's just a matter of making sure that people come upstairs, they know the tour's here, and that they can go upstairs if they want to see anything else um, beforehand. So we have three exhibitions on the top floor. Um, so really just to make sure that you took a time the amount of people who are coming into the rooms, because we do have a capacity uh, of like 35 people to see how many people can fit in the room. So it's the job, of my job anyway, to make sure that everyone uh, is uh, in the room. So what I also love about working here as well is that you're not only on the floor every day, all day. Um, over the past couple of weeks, um, after I first started, um, all interns here, um, myself including Marie who you just met, uh, and Francisca, we all get given uh, projects and research um, stuff to do as well. So this is the intern's office itself. Currently at the moment just um, writing reviews, uh, restaurant reviews on our favourite places to eat um, as, a, as a museum. So we're nearly come to the end of the day. Um, as you can tell, this is the top floor. So this is our U2 room, uh, which is dedicated to the band U2, uh, born and bred in Dublin itself. Um, so we normally recommend any U2 fans to come up to the top floor and see this room in particular. Uh, it's cracking. Um, we also have a signed picture of all of the uh, band members. Uh, they actually came into the museum one day uh, without us knowing. Um, just before I worked, I did my internship here, and they actually uh, came disguised, came to the Round Museum, and um, before they left in the comments book, they put their handprints um, on the comments book, which is pretty insane, really. So cool. So in contrast to our U2 room, we also have our Irish Times room, so it's just this room right behind me. Um, so it's dedicated to the Irish Times, uh, which is the newspaper, the local newspaper. Um, so it um, highlights very important headlines that were announced throughout the years. Um, and it's pretty cool for kids because um, kids can actually um, do their own prints um, using a printed press. So we have our own little printed press area here. And also the view outside is pretty cute. Of, um, um, Stephen's Green, which is the park that I mentioned before. Uh, but my favourite artefact in this um, actual room is the fox, because I just think it is very, very cool. So last of all, uh, we have our last uh, and newest exhibition. Uh, this is our exhibition on the Dice Man, uh, which is on about um, Tom McGinty, who was a street performer in Grafton Street, which is only around the corner. Unfortunately, he sadly died 25 years ago, so we opened this exhibition uh, in memory of him and it actually opened last week, a week today. So this room is pretty much brand new and I had a very great uh, time uh, working with uh, both Fikra and Mark um, as designers to um, help curate this exhibition. So the launch itself, um, exhibition launch that is, was the first time I was able to be part of a events management team which is amazing. So Robbie and I, who is our assistant manager at the museum, but he mostly focuses on events. Um, I helped him set up the event and run it. So it was an amazing experience because we're able to see and connect with over 200 people who came. It was very emotional and very incredible uh, event. It was very heartwarming and people who knew Tom, whether it be his family or his close friends or people um, who walked on the street who would have seen him, all attended um, and it was just incredible. In terms of actually curating the exhibition, quite a lot of us were involved. Myself, including Francisca and Marie, my other intern friends, um, given various tasks to do um, to help um, launch, to help finish the actual exhibition. Uh, so this included, um, for instance, um, collecting the foam boards or the, um, like these kind of things here. 
um, from our printers uh, involved um, painting the exhibition, so painting the walls, um, doing the, redoing the carpets, um, and helping uh, display some of the objects, um, which was incredible. And everyone chipped in, everyone did an amazing job, and it just shows how much teamwork and dedication you need to get into this kind of uh, environment. So the day is finished. I'm with Brenda, Hello. lovely Brenda. Hello. Um, so we currently have a um, an event uh, going on. Um, just getting ready for the just event. Just getting ready for the event, basically. Uh, I'm not working for the event, though. Uh, I am. Brenda is. <laughs> um, so uh, hopefully it will run well. Uh, but everyone's cracking. So my phone died yesterday um, so uh, what I'd like to say is round everything up I hope you enjoyed uh, my snapchat takeover yesterday uh, thanks for following along um, now you know what it's like um, to work in a museum <laughs> I hope you enjoy Dublin uh, and see you all soon